Pivot right, shuffle right. There you go, good, 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 good. I have three older brothers. I'm the only girl. That's it. That's I grew it. up watching a lot of boxing when I was real young. Good, good, um, good, 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 and I just kind of fell in love with the sport. Good luck. That's it. That's it, Karina. Good. One day I just, um, you know, there was no boxing ar around here. You know, everything was kind of far, you know, San Jose and uh, gyms. And um, my parents were, you know, off work late and stuff. They were not really going to take me to no gym at that time, you know. So uh, I joined when I was uh, 17. I joined a, a fitness gym, uh, the Spot Fitness, here in Watsonville. She walked into my gym uh, and the little kickboxing gym, and really I didn't see her. And she came in uh, with her boyfriend Mario, who was a boxer at one time, a Guatemalan Olympian, and he came in to spar with one of my kickboxers. And she was with her friend Danielle. And I remember them standing in the ring, looking down. They walked up, and they introduced themselves. And the, the little girl in the background looks around the corner and it was her so then my trainer goes Rick goes oh do you want to try boxing and I was like sure why not you know I would always say yes you know no matter you know what it was I would always say yes I got this win that that it might be Olympic boxing so I was asking if she wanted to box and she goes mm-hmm you know she would never hardly say a word and then the Nationals were gonna come up in 2000 uh, in, a, in Texas Midland Texas and uh, Rick asked me, do you want to try it? And I was like, sure, why not? And uh, we, I, we signed up. And then I looked up in the, to see who was going to be, uh, who, was, who had entered the tournament. And I had seen that there was actually two girls that, you know, number, well, number one, uh, Linda Carrillo, two-time national champion. And, and then they had the number two. And I was like, oh, I went and I told Rick, I go, I don't know if I want to go now. You know, there's like, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance even to win it. You know, I, I only have... Two, um, two boxing matches, and um, you know the two the two time national champion's gonna be there. Like I was pumped because you know I, I made it this far. You know I wasn't even I, I didn't even think I would make it that far. You know even to the finals. So when I was gonna fight Linda Korea, I was really pumped. I was nervous, obviously. Uh, the rest is history. She went on, she went into the national championship with one fight, turned around, won national championships, turned around, beat, and and was on the U.S. team, and she was the youngest one on the team had only four fights at the time, you know, fought the Hungarian, the French, and the Canadian, beat all of them in their bracket, and won a gold medal for our country. I mean, I, I couldn't go, but I was shocked as well. I, I won, and Rick didn't tell me, I didn't know at the time that if you won, that you were going to be a member of the United States women's boxing team. You were going to travel, you know, represent the United States, and um, I won. I beat Linda Carrillo on ESPN2, and it was like, wow, I was just in shock. I, was, I just didn't have no words whatsoever. Right. She comes to fight. She really does. And and some of the biggest compliment, the biggest compliment you give a female, is when they see you, is that you fight like a guy, you know. And so she fights to say she she box. She fights like a guy, and that's what people want to see. People want to see fighting. People don't want to see the, you know people jumping around being cute, you know. Here especially you know the professional level, they want to see you fight. And you run sometimes. You know, it, it's not like that. You know, the girls just don't fight. They run around. And sometimes you see that in the guys. But in the general public, the guy, you know, the, the public want to see people fight. And Karina comes to fight if they want to fight and not run around. If they run around, it makes it a difficult fight. What she's getting, the training the body to do is be explosive like this instead of this <laughs> you know where you're just isolating the muscle it just kind of depends who you ask you know um if somebody's a big fan of of yours or or they know you they really enjoy like i've had a lot of uh, friends and stuff like that and family members as well as, as they've gone to my fights and i tell them oh yeah i'm gonna be fighting they're like oh man you shouldn't be doing that and then they go and they see me and since they know me they really enjoy it you know and uh it, you know, boxing is it's a science, you know, it's two people in there. And what I like about boxing is that, you know, it's, it's not a team sport, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. You and the other person going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, kind of like a chess match. Karina has to relax to receive it and then fire it off. Relax, receive, and fire it off. But I'm giving her eccentric resistance on the down. So she has to receive that, so she gets it, and reducing what is called the coupling effect. The qu quicker she gets it off, the more energy she actually can put out. So this easily translates to what you saw her throwing the ball off the wall. So it's boom, and then she relaxed, boom, relax. And so it, this really translates to a lot of sports, but particularly boxing. When you get all tensed up, and uh, 
it's harder for you to to think and also to throw your punches, you know. And if you're nice and relaxed, like me, I'm the type of fighter that, uh, you know, I'm nice and relaxed in that ring. If you throw a punch and, you know, okay, you catch me with it, okay, I don't get all excited and start going all wild and stuff. And I think relaxation is a big, it's, it's very important in boxing, um, you know, and uh, just being relaxed and, uh, and snapping those punches. We look at training the nervous system and how the brain sends a signal to the nervous system, so we're training quickness, speed, agility, obviously, but we're making it much more reactive. A lot of trainings will uh, go one direction, one direction, so like speed ladders will go one direction and they really don't make it more reactive where the body can adjust by calling out signals and again, having the nerves, nervous system send the signal, oh, I gotta go this way, oh, I gotta go that way. So there's a number of principles, relaxation, explosion, that we're looking at in, in trying to develop overall quickness. Basically, muscle memory, looking at uh, uh, body control, balance, coordination, timing, speed, all of those type of things, because you're training it. Uh, you know, the body automatically does that in the ring. You know, it'll, it'll move this way, move that way. But when you can train it to heighten it, then you can get a better product, obviously. It's difficult for the, the American female boxers here because there's a lot of amateur boxers, but they're not turning pro because there's no place for them to go. It's a shame, you know, uh, here in America, it's not it's not real popular. Um, compared, like you said, compared like to uh, overseas, uh, you know, Germany, it's really big over there. Uh, Mexico, it's really big over there. There's a lot of female uh, fights down there. I do think though that here in America, it's starting to grow a little bit more than before.